Hey guys, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I prepare my iPhone for when I have a new one being delivered, which tonight is the eve of the new iPhone 11 release date. Everybody gets them delivered or pick up at the store. This is September 19th of 2019. And I'm going to show you how I clean the phone and just prepare it for either returning it or like me, I'm going to pass it down to a family member. And leave in the comments too if you guys have ordered the new iPhone 11, either the 11, the 11 Pro, or the 11 Pro Max. And I'd like to see how many people actually order and are anticipating the new iPhone. So stay tuned. Hey guys. So I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I hope you all are getting excited about the iPhone being delivered tomorrow. This is the eve of the big delivery day. This is September 19th of 2019. I thought I'd go over a few things that I do to prepare um, for my new phone being delivered. This is my current phone right now, the iPhone XS Max or iPhone XS Max. Some people say both. It technically means 10. It's a Roman numeral, but some people still say X, so I do both. Um, I'm going to be giving this phone to my mother, actually, because she needs a new phone. Hers, She actually has my original iPhone 6 Plus, the very first time they come out with a bigger version. And it's finally, you know, time to get rid of that phone. She's had done a really good job with it and kept it in good shape. So I promised her this phone. So what I like to do, um, I'm not going to erase the phone right now because obviously it's the day before my phone gets delivered. But I will show you kind of what I do with the phone, like clean it and stuff like that. Besides erasing which I hopefully most of you guys know how to do that if not um, tomorrow in my unboxing video I'll show you how I erase my phone too so here's my original speaking case which I don't know if you anybody's ever heard of speaking or have ever used their cases but I really like their clear cases yeah they do yellow over time which is almost impossible for any clear case not to become yellow so about every six months I have to buy a new one but they're super cheap on Amazon, I think I paid like $10, $11 for this. And actually, here is the new speaking case I've already pre-ordered for my new iPhone for tomorrow. But this is how you spell it, S-P-I-G-E-N. I've used their cases now for like four or five years, and I've yet to ever break a phone. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, they, they're just really good uh, rubber. Pla it's like a rubber plastic. It's TPU is what they call it. I think it's what it is. Or TUP or something like that. <laughs> uh, so it's like a rubber plastic. But they also in the corners, I don't know if you can see this, but they have like little air pockets. So if it if only lands on the corners, it's going to absorb that shock more. And um, so far, it's done a great job. So I highly recommend their cases if you like a clear case. I like a clear case because I like to show off the beauty of the iPhone. And if you know, th notice this, this is just one of those magnetic uh, metal things I put on my phone because in my car I have a magnet that holds my phone up on the dash and um, that just peels off like that so what I like to do is um, either you can use Windex wipes which I do or something that's a little you know not as quite as harsh as uh, baby wipes you can use, use either one um, I'll go ahead and use the Windex wipes And I just like to clean the outside, you know, just normal, common stuff here. Clean off the sides. Sometimes, you know, I'm sure anybody knows this. Once you had a phone for a while, it always gets gunk, you know, in between the case and the phone. It's kind of crazy, actually, how much dirt these collect. But if you really think about it, we literally have our phones everywhere with us nowadays. Um, something else I recommend is... A toothbrush a very soft bristle they make Pacific you know look for one that says you know soft bristle and I use the 90% isopyl uh, alcohol rubbing alcohol if you can find real ether alcohol or ethanol I'm sorry alcohol is the best because it evaporates the higher the content is why I try to find the 90 uh, is going to evaporate very quickly which these phones are water resistant but what I like to do though is kind of get some on the bristles And over your speakers and stuff like that, I like to 
clean them because it's crazy how much gunk is down in there. And what I have found um, on a phone I kept for like a year and a half, I started having this weird echo and it was because there was dirt over the mic and the mic couldn't properly distinguish. So it had like a weird echo to people when they were talking to me on the phone. So I just do this, you know, real good inside the speaker grills, you know, clean them out. And I also do all these buttons because, you know, the buttons can get some grime inside, especially the little silence switch there. The little um, earpiece there, I always like to clean it out. Same thing with that button. And then you can just re-wipe it off again. And then now what I like to do on this is totally do this with caution on your own, <laughs> you know, on your own do this. I mean, make the decision yourself. But I, I don't know if you ever noticed when you're trying to charge sometime after a long time of having this phone, it kind of feels weird or it doesn't quite make a click noise anymore. You can use a toothpick or I like to use, let me find it here. which today probably is not going to have very much. I like to use my uh, Cricut pick. Like I said, please only do this if you really feel confident because if you bend any of those uh, connectors in there, you ruin your port. But you'll be shocked at how much dirt look at that and I just did this like not even a month ago and you can already see all that on there and it's crazy how much lint and dirt and grime gets inside of these and like I said please only do this if you really are careful because if you bend those you know and I try to keep up on this side because on the top of the glass the uh, connectors are not there it's oil on the bottom so I'm just trying to scrape you know I go with the bottom and then just pull up and that's still going to get stuff up out of there and like I, said, I just did this a month ago it was crazy how much came out of this like a month ago I wish I kind of recorded that it was 10 times that amount it was kind of gross <laughs> but all in all your phone now is pretty clean and as you can see here mine looks you know practically brand new there's no marks on it scuffs scrapes and I've actually dropped this a few times on my concrete driveway and it didn't even bend the, the stainless steel with this case which stainless steel is pretty strong they use surgical grade stainless steel um you can always clean your case too if you're going to give this away I mean like I said it's always gonna have yellowing these yellow ones which is the negative part of the yellow cases um I've you know, they claim that, oh, these aren't supposed to go as fast, which it seems like they do last about six months. They get really yellow. So I just buy a new one every six months. They're only 10 bucks. Um, that's pretty much how I prepare a phone besides, you know, erasing, which like I said, I'll, I'll do a video tomorrow when I'm doing an unboxing on how I prepare my phone, erasing it. And um, like I said, I, it's good to recycle them, turn them in, or pass them down to friends or family. So if you guys enjoyed this short video, please give it a big thumbs up and leave comments and also share it across your social media. Thank you guys for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.